Welcome back. Now, Helena Ngafiwa has been appointed as a Youth Advisory Council member of the African Leaders Malaria Alliance, also known as ALMA. Now, Ngafiwa is also co-runs the Simply You magazine, and where she continues to honor Namibian creatives at the Glitzy Award ceremonies, which uh, attracts the who's who of Namibian music, fashion, and lifestyle. And she joins us uh, in studio this morning. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. How are you this morning? Um, Other than being a bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm honored. Uh, Maria was sitting here not so long ago. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. And uh, of course, uh, it's International Women's Day. Yeah. Um, yeah. How are you this morning? I'm fantastic. No yes. complaints at all. Yeah. Anybody who knows you know that you wear, uh, you know, a myriad of hats. Yeah. You know, you, 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 <clears throat> A mom, you're a businesswoman, and you've got this appointment. Mm. You, you, you know, you're an editor. Yeah. All of that. <laughs> Where and, and and you know who and what do you draw your your inspiration from to be able to juggle all these roles? Yo, I think. Um Drawing inspiration, I think just from that little girl, you know, that Helena little girl that grew up in Swakopmund that wanted to become everything, like that wanted to be everything. I remember when I was growing up, I was so fascinated. I used to watch television. I want to be on TV. I want to be a presenter. I want to do this. But one thing that I always strive is whatever it is that I wanted to become, I, I won't stop. Mm -hmm. So I will go to, I remember when I was in primary school, I'll write letters to NBC. <laughs> By the way, NBC, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I would write letters. I'd be like, I want to be a presenter. I want to do this. And even when I came into, obviously, the industry with the fashion and the, and the lifestyle, I saw, I think this, this is what's missing. This is what I need to do. Mm -hmm. So I literally always draw inspiration from what is around me and from that little girl that always wants to be whatever and whoever she wants to be. Yeah. And I think I'm so privileged to be in a position where I can pick point and say, okay, I think this I can do and this I can't do. But I always also tell myself that there's no reason as to why you will have a certain vision or a certain idea yeah. and you can't accomplish yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Not to sidetrack our conversation, yeah. but just out of interest's <laughs> sake, uh, speaking of your television career, I haven't mm. seen you in front of the screen in a long time. Is yeah. that a conscious decision or have you just put that on hold for a while? Um, I think that was a conscious decision because obviously um, there's so different parts that I was trying to take. Mm -hmm. And it's, at some point I decided, okay, cool, let me take this, let me take a step back. And obviously when we started with the um, SOIM LAFA, I couldn't be in the space of the industry, mm -hmm. you know, because then it, it kind of looked like I'm also competing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so with that, I took, a, I took a step back and I mm -hmm. said that, okay, cool, so let me do it from, from behind the scenes yeah. so that I can see what is it that I can implement, what is it that I can complement to what is already happening. Okay. So that was one of my decisions, obviously, to leave, that is television, that is one of my reasons to leave radio, because I wanted to be behind the scenes to see what I can complement as to what is in the industry yeah. already. Fantastic. Yeah. You've also been appointed as Youth Advisory Council <coughs> member for the African Leaders uh, Malaria Alliance. Talk to us about your appointment in this position, in this role. Yeah, I think, um, let me start back with 2020, which I course, um, I'm also the project officer, that is for the One Economy Foundation, mm -hmm. Office of the First Lady, um, which is such an honor for me. And being um, appointed to be on Alma Advisory for me is dear girl child. You can be whoever you want to be, wherever you want to be, and you are not limited to just being in Namibia. <clears throat> and that is exactly where I am. I am participating and taking part in a conversation, a global conversation, mm. where I can change lives of different young people in Africa. Because this conversation is not just for Namibia. We're not only uh, tackling malaria issues in Namibia. Mm -hmm. We are tackling the issues that is in Africa. And I think it was such um, overwhelming for me because obviously this is a health sector mm -hmm. where I am mm -hmm. not, you know, I don't know how to inject a needle <laughs> <laughs> at all. So this is a health sector. But um, I was privileged enough to come on board with my experience coming from a media experience, coming from an events experience, coming from project management experience. So how can I come on board with my expertise and assist what is happening on the ground. But then again, for me, I pinch myself every day and say, I'm taking part <laughs> in a conversation 
which is continental. Yeah. I'm, not, um, I'm not challenging a, a problem that is in Namibia where I can say, okay, you can do this here, you can do that there. I'm taking place uh, in a conversation that is continental, that is African. And for me, every morning ever since then, I'm like, hmm, you can actually yeah. be whoever you want to be. Yeah. Don't limit yourself. Don't limit your thinking. And don't think that you're only meant to be this person because mm -hmm. of the space that you're yeah. in. So I'm extremely honored. I'm excited for the project. Um, and then obviously, um, I'm excited to travel the whole of Africa <laughs> and to see what Africa has in store for us. But then again, um, it, it's such an honor because coming from a small country um, and then having to take part uh, in a conversation where you want to change lives from countries that are obviously way bigger and the yeah. problems are way bigger, <clears throat> I think um, it's honestly an honor. Yeah, and I think yeah. it will be a great takeaway for you as well, the lessons you, you'll learn from this Definitely. journey. Definitely. So what does your role entail as an ALMA council member? So well, the ALMA, ALMA is under the AU, Africa Union, and uh, what well, the youth advisory is we tackle issues around malaria and other health-related um, issues. So we look at other health, we look at obviously like the polio, we look at HIV and AIDS, uh, but the main focus being malaria. Mm -hmm. So what well, the youth advisory is we look at what can we do as Africans to tackle um, this issue. What can we do as Africans to be youth armies and to make sure that we fight malaria? So um, my role on there is um, how can we create awareness? What, who can we talk to? What can we do? Because this is a, a, a disease that's coming on for centuries, for years now, and we are still there. Yeah. So what is it that we can do as young people? Uh, what is, how can we empower our people and to make sure that we do fight uh, yeah. this disease? Yeah. Well, just as we're rounding off our discussion this yeah. morning, as you know, with the show this morning, it's myself and Tresia presenting it as we celebrate <laughs> International Women's Day. We've got all women's guests. Yeah. And I know you've been in some, you know, you've had a seat at some amazing tables. Mm. You, you've been in rooms and spaces yeah. and rub shoulders with amazing people. Mm. But I just want to know from you as, as we round off our discussion, you know, in terms of how far women uh, still need to go, mm. what are those areas, sectors, mm. um, you know, where women still need to be heard, they still mm. need to be involved, they still need to be given mm. uh, a seat at the table? What sectors and areas are those do you think women still could do better in? Yeah. I think, I think um, especially like in, in Namibia, I, I think I really need to applaud because we have a lot of women that are sitting at so many tables. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had Emma earlier that was talking about tabling the menstrual hygiene for women, meaning this is a woman that is taking up space in a space that is male dominated. We had Maria, sorry that I'm making reference, <laughs> <laughs> who's a pilot. Um, there is a woman taking up space in a male dominated. I think um, women are taking up so much space and we are moving exactly where we need to be. Mm -hmm. Probably not at the time that we want to be there, but we are moving at exactly where we need to be and we are going to get there. Yeah. And especially when it comes to um, with the politics, we're getting a lot of women that are sitting there and I think it's very important yeah. because then we get the gender role in the playing field and we get to hear both voices and they're both represented and it's just not a male saying that this is what needs to be done, but a woman can also come on board and say, no, but this is what we as women mm -hmm. want to do. And I always try and encourage our male that as women we, we, we don't want to take over. We are not in competition. We merely want to be at the table and compliment what is already being influence. In and yes. influence. We yeah. want to influence, we want to compliment, we want our voice to be heard. And we want to, we want to be in a position when we say um, menstrual health is important and it's a conversation that must be entertained. Yeah. And we don't want to be sidelined. And I feel that um, as women, we've got such strong personalities and we're very loud. So when we come on board, sometimes men probably feel that, okay, we, wanna, <laughs> we don't want to take over. We want to compliment what is already been put in place. We want to influence and we just want to be part of the conversation. I agree with you. Yes. Thank you so much for your time this morning. No, a Thank you for being here and all the best with uh, this new role and appointment of yours. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank Happy Women's Day to you. <laughs> <laughs> That was uh, Helena Ngaifi was speaking to us, newly appointed Youth Advisory African Leaders uh, Malaria for Alma. She's a council member talking to us about her excitement in the role that lies ahead for her.